Okay guys, so I guess I'm kind of jumping on the bandwagon here, whatever you want to say. Um, recently there's been a few YouTube videos that I've seen of people that are rising up against the sex string. Rhythm Gamers, it's time to rise up against the sex string. So the person I want to put on blast, the people I want to talk about, is Power Gig. Wow! You guys have been talking a lot of crap, but the way they're doing it is bashing the thing that we've loved for years. Rock Band and Guitar Hero, they're just coming out and just bashing them left and right, and I don't understand it. I tried my hardest to leave Power Gig alone. Now today, no more. I guess I'm gonna take the gloves off and just tell you exactly what I feel about Power Gig and where their mistakes are because of a recent, that right here, statement in which Power Gig has made that does actually affect everybody in the rock band or the GH community or just rhythm gamers in general. Everybody's like talking crap and they're all upset so I had to look into it and see what's up. Well I went to the Power Gig website and I saw a press release that they put out where they pretty much spent the whole press release dogging Rock Band 3's new guitar. Um, on top of that, just overall, Power Gig has been really anti-fake guitar and bragging about how they have this real guitar that's so easy to play. If I wanted a real guitar, I would go out and buy one. But I'm not going to spend $170 on your shitty game. I'm going to spend $170 on a halfway decent guitar. Well, I went to PAX, I went to CES, I went to the conventions that had Power Gig and I actually got a chance to play it. And it is not easy to play. I had the game set on easy, and playing with these real strings is not that easy because for the most part all you feel is the string. You have to look down and see where the frets are. Now you could say, hey, you've been playing guitar games for how long? You've been playing rhythm games for how long? You know, you would have to play and practice, and yes, if you play just the power gig guitar for a long time, you're going to get it eventually because yes, it takes practice to learn a new peripheral. But they're making out like this thing is so easy, anybody can pick it up and anybody can play. As I said, I got to play the game, I put it on easy mode and I was having a hard time. Um, because there's really no feedback, like when you're playing on a Guitar Hero guitar, you hear that click. When you hear that click, you know you strummed it, you know, and you can physically feel when you're pressing in that button. For the Power Gig guitar, you're pressing down on the string. Now, you have no idea if you're just touching the string or if you're pressing it down all the way, you can't actually physically really feel that much of a difference. Um, so, I mean, and then you have no, there's no sound, you know, you're, you're hitting these strings and basically they're like, you can hit one string, basically the string that you're holding down, or you can strum all of them, just like a real guitar, it works both ways. I tried both ways, I tried putting on a harder difficulty and alt strumming and stuff like that. It just wasn't working. Now, your main thing that you guys are really trying to push is the fact that this is a real guitar that you can plug into an app and just start playing. That's great. Yes, Rock Band 3 is coming out with a guitar that is supposed to help teach you how to play a guitar as well. Um, this game doesn't really say it's going to teach you to play. Um, their note charts are absolutely horrible, first of all. They, they are nothing like actual guitar. Um, no, I don't play real guitar and I don't know note charting. You guys want to sit here and dog me and say stuff like that. I'm not a professional guitarist, no. But I do know that the people at Harmonix and the people at Neversoft are in bands. They do play real guitar and they do spend hours dedicating themselves to making sure these note charts are as close to perfect as possible. And I do have friends who play guitar who say a lot of these note charts are accurate. I'm sorry, you know charting sucks. And what is this string that you have in between the notes? It's like they tried to take the idea from Guitar Hero. I believe it's Guitar Hero 4. They first introduced the uh, slider notes and um, they had a string in between the tap gems for the solo sections. And it was supposed to be so that you could kind of like see what was going on and kind of see the solo instead of see like a mess of notes. Um, what they're doing, I have no idea. They have horizontal lines that are connecting chords. They've got a color changing string that goes throughout the entire song, not just solos, the entire song. It's really distracting. It looks really bad. It's really cluttered. On top of that, the gameplay is ab absolutely, absolutely horrible. The gameplay, I would say, is similar to a game called Rock Revolution, which if you don't know what Rock Revolution is, it's a game by Konami. Uh, they came out with Guitar Freaks um, back in 
1999, um, and they decided to come out with a console version of their game, which was a top-down scroller. Um, looks very similar to what Power Gig is doing, um, which it looks like crap. It just looks bad overall. The characters look bad. Yeah, okay, well we shouldn't put our focus and attention on the background, blah, blah, blah. It's all about the gameplay. Well, when the gameplay sucks, and the background sucks, and it's just... It's just if you ever watch their videos, you're gonna see them like with some guy like, yeah, dude, this is how you play power guitar. And this is how you play our air drums. This airstrike drum set is probably the dumbest idea I've ever heard of in my entire life. It seems like a way for them to save money, basically. They made this tiny little peripheral. It's probably about, it's at an angle, it's probably about this big or so. And it's got a regular pedal, which is your kick pedal, and some mojo pedal. Um, stupid. Absolutely stupid. You have to play with their drumsticks, so unlike rock band and guitar here, you can't use your own drumsticks. You have to play with their drumsticks. Why? Because they have these stupid sensors in the giant color buttons down the bottom. And you have to use their drumsticks because they have a special little indent in them. And you have to place your thumb in the indent, because if your thumb is not perfectly in this indent, you can strike away like crazy, it is not going to recognize shit. Um, it only recognizes when your thumb is set in the indents and exactly over the center of the sensor thing. That technology is not good. I don't know what the hell you guys were thinking. The correct way to go with a peripheral would have been more realistic drums because that's what everybody likes. You want to sit here and brag about your, your realistic guitar, where's the realistic drum set? It's like you try to put all the focus on your guitar because your drum set is a complete piece of crap. Um, I don't know, the, the idea behind that, it does not work very well. Um, I know how to play Expert Plus drums on Guitar Hero. I again had a hard time even on easy and it's mostly because it wasn't registering. I believe I have a video, I'll have to look for it, um, of me playing and I'm like, I'm doing it, I'm hitting, why isn't it registering, why isn't it registering, is your thumb completely in the indent? If it's not completely in the indent, it's not going to work. Really so easy anybody can pick it up. And again, going back to the videos, like something else that bothered me was this uh, Volcano video that they released where they took I don't know, maybe a couple hundred, maybe more of um, guitar, or they're not Guitar Hero guitars, they took guitars, um, they were peripherals, guitar peripherals, and they dumped them into a volcano. So obviously what they did is they went out and they bought a bunch of third party controllers and they did it to test their game. And we just need to test our game, so what are we going to do with them now? Hey, let's make a cool video of us throwing these guitars into a volcano, because that's going to really prove that our guitar is superior. No, all it did is prove that you're an idiot, basically, and that was a complete waste. I can't believe you're throwing that stuff into a volcano. What about recycling? Yeah, how about the environment? Well, basically, the rise of this extreme is not going to be very competitive because it's not very accurate. Um, this game isn't even that fun. I think the fact that, for the most part, people are going to be doing this, like, I swear I'm hitting it, I swear, or uh, I can't tell where my fingers are, blah blah blah. I think that's really going to take away from the overall fun experience. But I think it will help if they do see these videos that we're putting out to kind of see that they're really turning us off. To see that they're offending the Guitar Hero rock band communities and basically upsetting their target demographic. Maybe they'll stop bashing games that are better than theirs. Um, who knows? But for now, as of this extreme, no good. That's my opinion. You gotta come up with your own. Feel free to leave comments down below and please don't turn this into a hate fest like, oh, you're just a Guitar Hero Rock Band fanboy, or in my case, fangirl. But no, I am a fan of rhythm games in general. But leave comments that are relevant. Uh, leave your opinions. Say what you think about the guitar. Did you actually get to go to E3 or PAX and play? Um, what was your experience? What do you feel about what they said about Guitar Hero guitars and rock band guitars? You know, go ahead and leave your comments below. Alright, thanks.